Okay, welcome to part four, the getting started guide. Um, up against a new player, I think. Uh, I did record a game just before, uh, with no commentary, so this will probably become part three. Um, but I should have the build fully set up this time. So I'm going to move three squares out, because that's how much my strong arms can follow. Uh, I'm going to stonewall. Uh, so I did actually win the last game, but it was basically a mirror match. I was up against um, two Axe Masters, two Thrashers, two Strong Arms. Um, I did mess up my formation at the start. I actually had this guy moving second in my formation instead of this guy. Uh, so he kind of got stuck there and wasted a turn. Um, but I was able to force my opponent into some really tough decisions um, where he couldn't really make a good choice. He could just make choose between a couple of suboptimal choices. Um, and then some good play in the end game from both of us. Oh, he had some amazing battering rams. Uh, I don't. Mm, yeah, they're not gonna. Uh, they're not gonna make it over here. I'm not gonna stonewall. Um, yeah, some really good play on both sides. But eventually, I managed to secure the victory just because I was able to um, keep my armor totals up, um, and uh, I was really efficient at maiming and hobbling his units in a good order. But it was a great game. I definitely recommend watching it. Um, now they've got the sound working properly. Um, it's actually recording. I can do some proper guides, which is always nice. Uh, Thrasher stays there. Oh, you can see my Thrasher has a ridiculous amount of armor. Uh, I think that's really important as the one unit that can be have attacks directed at it because he doesn't have Stonewall uh, to keep him alive and stop people breaking his armor. He wants to be able to eat a couple of armor hits. And since there's only one square to attack him from, it means he's going to be able to stay alive in this formation for a long time. So I've got to basically move this formation up to someone, keep stonewalling, and just keep bloody flaying it until whatever's in front of it is dead, and then the strong arms can follow up, and these guys can start breaking once I'm ready to break out of that formation, once I've got myself a bit of an edge. So that's the idea behind this, what I'm calling an axe head formation, um, the thrasher being the blade of the axe, and these axe masters being the head of the axe. So yeah, you can see he just keeps getting stronger and stronger in this formation. He's, he's ridiculous. And his bloody flails are hitting for three randoms and then four guaranteed strength damage. So he absolutely decimates whatever gets in front of him. He can even afford to attack um, shield bangers directly, eating the four armor hits, um, just because he'll still have 15 armor. <laughs> you know, he, can, he can take some hits. So this guy's three archers. Um, he's got a really good defensive formation going on here. I might probably need to start adjusting my formation to reconvene where I can get a good angle on them. Um, so I could reform around, like change the direction of the formation. Um, but I might send my strong arms across here. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get the formation to come in and hit here, so like this, and then I can knock this um, Axe Master through if need be to get to those archers, but otherwise I'll just kill my way through this strong arm while using defenses. Uh, so gonna move mm. Okay, so I have kind of blocked. Yeah, okay. That's probably better. Uh, one cool thing I can do is I can battering ram this guy through to the back, um, dealing three armor damage and positioning him right here, uh, and that'll give me much easier access to the archers from this side. So that's probably what I'm going to aim to do. So he's kind of open this one up to attack. Um, I guess he doesn't understand how Stonewall works. Which is a shame. Uh, I want to move only three squares if possible. And then Stonewall again. So it's taking me quite a bit to get into position because he's got this really defensive ar archer formation.
Okay, head over to here. So he shuffled up a little bit. Um, using this this uh, slag and burn defensively, it's quite good. Basically telling me not to attack down here. Um, so I'm going to go through the front door, which is... Oh! Nice. Okay, now I can't battering ram through. Um, he can actually get off uh, fully resisted. That's good. Okay, so the question here is, do I start to get... Okay. I can get a little tri-formation here. Um... Because now I can't build my proper formation. So I'm probably going to go after this archer. Uh, whew, this is a tough one. I've got to break my own formation to do anything useful here. Yeah, I'm going to go after the archer. Oh, that's nasty. I really wish I hadn't rolled all strength hits. Even one armor hit. It'd be good. This formation kind of blocks this thrasher out. I would have had the thrasher on one of the wings. Um, or opened up a, a gap for him to get through. Oh, he's using it for the shield wall bonus. That's interesting. Um... One, two, three, four. Okay, this guy, one, two, three, four. So that's exactly where I want. I'm, I'm going to pump this guy through. Uh, where do I want this guy? I'm just going to put him here for now. Uh, I'm not going to bother shield walling because he's got 14. Um, oh, there was a... Okay, cool. Good thing I didn't move to there. So this was the right play. Uh, so this... Is going to knock him through. This is going to knock him through. Then I'm going to try to clean up the archers. <coughs> so yeah, nice armor break there on the uh, Thrasher. But now the fun begins. <laughs> cool. And then I'll send this guy. So my aim here is to take out the archers, then worry about everything else. Um, I think this this match is really going to show off the strength of this build, which is really offensive formations that can get to archers no matter where they are. Um, so I think that's really good. Um, it might be a bit one-sided. New abilities. So my opponent hasn't played in a little while. Um, gonna move all the way up here. So yeah, really good formations on these archers. This one's basically surrounded. These two can't really escape. Um, and then I can use these ones to just attack through the front door. I don't want to attack this uh, shield master. So I think this build really shows off the strength of Axe Masters. I think... Oh, really nice job there. Um, I could go for the kill. Um, she doesn't have much willpower, so I'm probably going to move up the back here. And uh, attack her. So I can put it a 1 straight away. Move. It'd be nice to be able to kill her, but uh, it's not possible. So it looks like my... Thrasher's actually going to die. So breaking formation, I did manage to um, hobble this archer. I don't know that you can technically really maim archers <coughs> given puncture. Um, but it has cost me. It has cost me the Thrasher. So. I'm going to... Yeah. Just uh, decimate his back line. Um, and then my front line's pretty well equipped to deal with his. Um, this guy's probably going to have to break armor. Um, which means I won't want to attack him. But these guys will go in on the, the stronghold. So I'm a man down, but we have a pretty
pretty big strength advantage now. Uh, so he did armor break, so I want to get in on this guy. And break as much armor as possible. And I should be able to kill all these archers on the next turn with my axe man. Strong arms can start going for this. Strong arm. Oh, I can't actually move all the way there. That's bad. Well, I'm going to stand. So I'm definitely within range for the next turn. Yeah, maybe getting one exertion on these guys. Good, this guy can move in and attack him. Because uh, I don't want to attack that guy while he's got his sh thing up. Because um, otherwise I'll be taking two armor damage instead of one. So focus fire on this guy till he's dead and then I can focus fire on the other one. Go for yeah. I'm just gonna kill the sky striker here. Um, she doesn't have the most strength, but she's still got two willpower, um, and she's the furthest away, so hardest to get to for all my other units. And whereas these two are both really close to my other units, so it's a lot less likely that they'll be able to escape. So I'm just saying that um, this build is basically designed to break through entrenched locations, uh, formations, sorry, um, just by battering ramming my axe masters through. Uh, so he was probably at a disadvantage from the get-go. Uh, one thing he can do is actually, instead of having the formation start here, have it start right up in the edge and then I can't actually put axe masters behind, um, which yeah, would be pretty effective. Uh, so, 6, um, he's got 8, 15, minus 8 equals 7, um, so I can just attack him and kill him with one of these guys, so I'd, I'm going to go around and start working on this, um, actually I'm going to kill this archer, that's what I'm going to do, and then I can work on this archer. Oh! I didn't even see that second slug and burn. He must have just put it down when I was too busy talking. Um, I think I still kill him just. Oh yeah, he took some uh, slug and burn damage, so I definitely kill him. Um, so you can really see how strong this build is against its natural counter. I do feel like there's some things the opponent could have done to, um, to stop it being as effective, basically hiding right in the corner, um, or positioning archers into the target squares of my battering rams. Um, it's a lot to calculate though, I'm keeping track of all that. I'm gonna walk up and break. Um, yeah. You can see exactly how the build works when it works right. See, so decimated that strong arm. Just dropped like a ton of bricks. Uh, so these guys... 
This guy's actually going to get blocked. So really good positioning there. Um, they only have one exertion. So he can't actually get anywhere. So I'm just going to help with shield wall. So then I don't eat quite as much damage here. Um, he might just break on this guy there. Yeah, it's a good play. Because his, uh, yeah. Yeah, really good play there. Ah, so yeah, I'm going to run over and cripple this guy. Because um, he's going to attack here and almost kill my stall, but I don't. It's a really good play in the end game here, using those two units uh, to his advantage and forcing me to really pay careful attention, otherwise he would have put himself right back in the game by crippling and almost killing my strong arm. So now I'll kill the Thrasher. And now the game's secured. I'm going to move over to this side because these ones already have access to this guy whereas fewer of my units have access over here. And get a pillage just to help finish out the end game. No, that's basically this build at its best. Like, I don't think there's a better matchup for this build than just then. Um, so you can really see it is strong. I think the Thrasher really brings a lot. You didn't really get to see him do much in this game. Um, but I think he, he really comes into his own um, when there's, like, more melee-oriented def defensive formations. So let's say he was back up into the... Um, backed up into the corner and I couldn't battering ram anyone through then I'd just move that formation right up onto the uh, the strong arm and then just flail in for the four guaranteed damage do that two or three times uh, that unit's going to be dead I'm going to have not taken really any counter attack damage because Stonewall's pretty tough and the, um, the strong arm itself doesn't have much arm break it wouldn't be able to knock down the 19 or so armor that the Thrasher had um, you just basically gonna punch a hole in their formation and then you can move through through the ensuing gap. Um, so I'm really liking this build. Um, I think that last little tweak has really made a difference. Um, and that might even be the end of this series. I might um, try to record a game against a really good player with the build. Um, but basically, this build works. Um, it's tweaked pretty well at this point. Um, you can go back and watch the couple of games that I recorded that I didn't put in the series to see some of the little tweaks I made. But it's a strong build. So if you do have an idea for a build, um, test it out yourself. Try to build a team around the idea um, and take it out into battle. Uh, and also let me know if you've got a build idea that you want to see me uh, do a guide series on, send it in. Um, I'll try to build a team out of the idea um, and then I'll play it and tweak it and, and make it into something good. Because uh, basically any idea has potential as long as you just figure out how to how to make it work, what little tweaks you got to make to make it really strong. And here you can really see that these axe masters, although they don't seem to do much on their own in a group, they're real good. Uh, so that's me out. I'll see you next time, and I'll be streaming on uh, Twitch.tv/RhythmCaster quite a bit, just doing commentary on games. Um, also, I sometimes record my guides on there. And you can also just jump onto YouTube and see me there. Okay, have a good one.